Meantime, cases of flu continue to rise in North Carolina. According to new data from state health officials, 13 people have now died from flu complications so far this season. The youngest victim was between 5 and 17 years old. And cases of the flu are increasing all across the state, as we said. That as hospitals continue to face a surge of respiratory virus cases. And now concerns about capacity are growing. Michael Perchick breaking down those numbers, joining us now with the details. For the ninth week in a row, the percent of emergency department visits due to flu-like illnesses increased. It's now three times higher than it was in late September. The CDC classifying North Carolina's flu activity is very high, as the southeast continues to be hit harder than any other region in the country. At UNC hospitals in Chapel Hill, the pediatric ICU is full. Doctors encouraging parents to be aware of symptoms. These respiratory viruses, especially dangerous for kids with immunodeficiencies, like 14 month old Amelia, who has spinal muscular atrophy and was hospitalized for 33 days at Duke Health. If you are symptomatic, stay home. I mean, just stay home. And if you are symptomatic and have to go, at least mask, hand, you know, hand wash, good hand hygiene. Because it's not just, I mean, it's muscular dystrophy patients like her, you have cancer patients, you have elderly who are all immunocompromised. And it seems like, you know, this flu has come back with a vengeance and flu and RSV and the hospitals are full. Her mom, Megan, tells us she was on a ventilator for 17 days, though fortunately was able to be discharged Tuesday. Coming up at 6, we hear from both UNC and Duke Health as they share more about the current situation inside their respective hospitals. I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.